What I made is Raja Marcel and some just regular uh, jasmine white rice that has been pre-cooked and refrigerated so it's starch resistant, which means it has less carbs than just regular cooked rice. So yeah, I mean, you can refrigerate your rice and then heat it back up and it'll be more starch resistant, which means it has less carbs in it. And I love, love, love this red bean recipe. It is so good. I mean, this is like the, better than in, any Indian restaurant I've ever, and I'm not even like just saying that. I mean, I make the best homemade red bean Marcel ever. Mm. So you want to know how I do it? Yeah, it's very simple too. Okay. So the beans, of course, were soaked overnight, and then I cooked them for about a good eight hours in a slow cooker with a, a smoked ham hock. Mmm. And then, once they're done, you get the sauce going. So it's really simple. I just use like one can of tomato puree, about um, maybe a little tiny bit of water, maybe like not quite a half a cup. And I do use a little bit of um, powder beef stock powder. I don't like to use a lot of salt. That has sodium in it. Um, but of course, before I do that, before I put the puree in, I get the cumin seeds going. I get, you know, you put a little bit of oil in, any kind of oil you like. Cumin seed, um, dry red chili, two of them, uh, a couple of bay leaves, cinnamon stick. You just kind of mix that around. You want to put a little bit of ginger in there. Just mix it around. Then you pour your puree in there. A little bit of beef stock. Not much. You let that cook for just a little while, like maybe five minutes. And you can start putting in like your powdered turmeric, coriander, cumin, red chili powder. And um, you let that cook for a little while, you cover it. And then, once that's all cooked for like a good, you know, 10 minutes or so, you uh, can just put your beans in there. Wow, this is really good. I mean, this is better than any, any Indian restaurant's beans because... Everything is like really homemade. But yeah, that's pretty simple if you ask me. I mean, you could do it more complicated and use more, even more spices, but really you don't need to. This has all the flavors you could ever want. Yep. So I love Indian food, in case you're wondering. And I also like Pakistani music. So I'm going to get back to my music and finish my food. Take care.